All right, Meg, thank you. Our first morning weather coverage continues. Kimberly Eaton is live in Owings Mills with the cleanup effort following yesterday's flash flooding. Kimberly? And Jessica, a big change from this time yesterday when water was waist high on the street behind and below us here. Now it dried up as quickly as it flooded, but did a whole lot of damage to businesses. Puddles and problems. All that's left after flash flooding soaked this stretch of Ricerstown Road Monday afternoon. Everything is basically gone now. So it's just trying to pick up the pieces to try to start over. For auto shop owner Aida Caballero, picking up the pieces means picking a new location for her family business. A bright red sticker marking their water damaged building no longer safe. So employees work outside deciding what to save and what to scrap. Everything that we have work hard for and all of our savings, you know, um, put into it. And, and now it's just like we are at a standstill. And business owners here say they had no warning. In just a matter of minutes, the water so powerful it overflowed the banks and came crashing through this fence. Sky Eye Chopper 13 was overhead as people waded through the waist deep water that submerged cars up to the headlights in areas of Baltimore County. As first responders rushed to help, respond for a vehicle stuck in flood water. Shopping Center. WJZ viewers hit record, capturing video of stranded drivers in Reisterstown, heavy hail in Owings Mills, and roadways turned waterways all over. In Montgomery County, heavy rain forced drivers to hit the brakes and reroute. Everything's blocked off. They got one road blocked, and they got the other road blocked. The water's high. A rush of water across the state now leaving only a mud crusted mess. And so far, no reported injuries from yesterday's storms, but a whole lot of damage that business owners still haven't put a price tag on. Reporting live in Baltimore County, I'm Kimberly in WJZ Eyewitness News.